And the last news before we wrap up the show here, and uh, before joining the CFL, which people that don't know, the Canadian Football League, as its commissioner last year, Jeffrey Ordridge spent a decade working in the American sports industry. He was an executive with the USA Basketball and Reebok Sports Marketing, among other positions. He witnessed the huge growth in professional sports during the 1990s and the 2000s. And now, quite simply, Ordridge wants some of that for the CFL. Now, before we go on to the story, I do want to say I'm a fan of the CFL. My favorite team is the Calgary Stampeders. That is my team. Joffrey Reynolds and Henry Burris, quarterback and running back at the time, Henry Burris being the quarterback, Joffrey Reynolds as a running back. That was my favorite time right there. Uh, they, they just looked so good, and they, and they won, and they won. I got into Canadian Football League, and I was like, that is my team. That is my team. If you watch highlights of Joffrey Reynolds and Henry Burris, back in that, that was, oh, man, uh, 2010 maybe, 2010. It was a few years ago. Burris is now with the, uh, uh, what's the, t- oh, he's with the Red Hawks. I'm trying to, Ottawa, Ottawa Red Hawks, I believe. Uh, he's with them, and Joffrey Reynolds is, I believe, is retired now. Uh, but anyway, and so I, I'm just saying, I am a CFL fan. I, I do love the Calgary Mustangs. That is my team. And I, and I follow them. I, I almost say I can't watch all their games, but I, I do follow them, and I do watch uh, when I can. Now, Ordritz said recently, quote, we want to be a truly globally recognized league. And that doesn't have to mean playing the Canadian game outside of Canadian soil. What it does mean is marketing, promoting, and exploring it to other parts of the world. The ultimate goal we have is to be globally recognized beyond our borders, end quote. Just more recognition. More recognition and, honestly, some, a little bit more money. And it's not difficult to understand. Playing basically the exact same game as the NFL, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of tough. The NFL is recognized everywhere, not just in the United States. Now, and especially the NFL, they have pushed annual revenues of past $13 billion. You know what the CFL is doing? About $200 million a year. $200 million to $13 billion. Now, Orgers wants to portray the CFL as a fast-paced, innovative league that opens its, uh, opens its season during the dead time of the NFL calendar and features more than 50% American players and boasts a fan-friendly emphasis on on the passing game that well expe- ex- uh, exceeds the NFL's proportions. And we'll get into that to, into that in just a bit. Now, ESPN, they do televise. So if you're saying, well, I can't watch I can't watch it. I never can find it. They do televise 20 games in the, Uni- uh, in the United States during the season, uh, this season to be exact, making another 69 available games on ESPN3. So if you ever watch ESPN app on your phone, tablet, you've already heard the, the commercials 100 times. Just... ESPN3, if you have television, you have basic cable, you have ESPN, you have ESPN3. And you can watch the other 69 games, as well as the other 20, on ESPN3. So you have options, you have, if it fits your schedule when they play, if you don't know, look at it. And you can watch the game. And, and truly, don't go, if you're, if you're not a huge fan of the CFL or you can't really watch it, but you want to, just watch it and just don't even think about it, right? Just watch it. Watch the game, how it goes. Know some of the uh, little tiny rules. You don't have to learn the whole thing because I know what it's like when you're trying to learn different sports, trying to know all the rules, and just that's all you're thinking about. Just watch the game and think of it from just watching football. You'll notice that there's only three downs. They play with 12 rather than 11. The field is 10 yards longer and 12 yards wider, right? And a pre-snap, pre-snap motion is a lot more than the the NFL. The NFL, you can move, and once you get to a certain spot, you can keep you got to keep moving your feet, right? But you can't go forward. You know, you just kind of move to the side. In the CFL, you start the receivers can start about four or five yards, maybe six yards behind the quarterback, and then the quarterback gives them a motion, and then they start running and they don't stop because then the snaps come and then they're already off. So it's it's pretty interesting. It's it's I like it. I don't. It doesn't distract me any. Now, if you're a, a huge, if you're a running fan, if you're more of a running guy, I still say give the CFL a chance. But 
More than 70% of the CFL plays were passes. And if you want to compare that to the NFL, the NFL had 55% in 2015. Now, CFL games are averaging 51.5 combined points and 643 passing yards per game. The latter is the, league, the highest in league history. And to monetize that style, the CFL is tapping into the daily fantasy market via agreement with the DraftKings. So if you're into DraftKings or you're into fantasy football, the CFL, you want a whole lot of points. There you go. Now, is, this, is the CFL an American-ready sport set to be consumed more broadly, only if shared more uh, and promoted more strategically? Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I know that more northern states are because well, the border. And if you haven't given a chance or you just say you don't like it and you still haven't given a chance, and it's your fault. But if you really don't like the CFL and you've given it a true chance, let me know in the comment section below because I want to know. And I, I'm not to argue or disagree or anything. It's just I want to know why you don't like it. That's it. Some people don't like soccer. I don't like soccer. But it's a wor- it's the world sport apparently. So, And... Trent Richardson just got <laughs> got waved by the Ravens. Ouch, that sucks. I feel bad. Um, so the NFL finally the CFL won't match the NFL's po- popularity, and that's not what they're trying to do. They're not trying to. When you think of the NFL, they're not saying think of us, right? When you think of the three the big major sports, you think of Major League Baseball, National Basketball Association, and the NFL. You know. Whichever order, that's what you think of. They're not asking for that. All they're asking is, when you think of football, think of us too, right? Think of the Canadian football. Watch our games, especially because a lot of fans complain that there's no football in the spring and no football, you know, after the NFL. There's the CFL. They purposely put it on uh, right after, the, the, like I said, the dead part of the NFL calendar so you can watch it. There's your chance. They don't want to compete with the NFL. They just want a little bit of love. How hard is that? So again, the NFL or the CFL won't match the NFL's popularity, but it certainly has room to grow and to share. Watch the CFL. I'm not even Canadian. I love it. I love it. You don't have to be Canadian to love it. I'm just saying. I'm not taking a bias here. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below who's your favorite team in the CFL if you do have one. And Calgary St. Peters fans, give give this a like. Give this a like. And if you don't like the Calgary St. Peters, give it a Give it another like. Yeah. Anyways, that is it for today's show, guys. I hope you guys.